I greet you guys in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Prophet Bimasina of Waiting for Rapture Revival Ministry. I greet every, all the saints. I greet all the saints. I am a born again Christian. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I was baptized in water and I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, some they know it as the baptism of fire. Amen. I believe in the word of God and I believe in living the word of God and I believe in in, 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 the, in the power of the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in that. Amen. Uh, guys, I want to share this, this, this piece of scripture with you. As I was reading the Bible in the, in the book of 1 Peter and the book of 2 Peter, this is what I came across. So I just want to share with you this. I feel in my heart that I, I should share this with you. Okay, let, let, let's read, guys. Let's read. Uh, most of the time from now on, you'll find me sharing scriptures, this piece of, piece of scriptures. Each and every day when I, when, I, when I will read the word of God, I'll be sharing through the grace of God that is working in my life. I'll be sharing uh, uh, these scriptures. And, and I want to thank God, guys. I'm so, I'm so grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm grateful for, 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 the, for the grace that he has, he has given us or that he has given me on this earth. To be able to believe his word, to be able to believe in his son, Jesus Christ. I, I am so grateful. I, I am so deeply grateful for, for that. I am so grateful that I am, I, am, I am born again. I'm a Christian and I'm grateful for the understanding of the word that the Lord has given me. Uh, I am so grateful to, for that. And I'm, I'm so grateful for the family that I have, my wife, my children. I, I'm so grateful. Amen. I, I just, I just, I just, I, I'm so grateful each and every day and for the understanding of the scripture. I'm so grateful for that and I'm, I'm so grateful to be a leader uh, at Waiting for Rapture Revival Ministry, to be a bishop there, to be a leader there. I, I'm so grateful to the Lord. Amen. That in my lifetime, I was able to, to believe his, his word and to believe in his son and, and to confess him as my Lord and Savior and, and to, uh, to the Lord for that. Amen. You can you can find us guys on on, on 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 YouTube. You'll find us as Waiting for Rapture Revival Ministry. Also on Facebook, we have a page, a Facebook page, Waiting for Rapture uh, Revival Ministry. I have my channel on TikTok. I also do have a, a, a Instagram. You'll find us on Instagram. That is where we share our messages. That is where we share even with our praise team. We share everything there. Amen. Okay, let me just share, guys. This is going to be something very small, but then very powerful. I just want to share with you on the on the on the on the first chapter of of Second Peter, and we are going to start in verse one, verse two, and verse three and four. Okay, let us read. Simon Peter, a servant and an, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Lord uh, Jesus Christ. What I'm reading here is the King James. I don't know if you do have your Bible. Please have your Bible in your hand so that whether when I read, uh, uh, you, you, you can be able to follow. Amen. Okay, let us read in verse 2. The Bible says in verse 2, Grace and peace be multiplied. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of, and of Jesus, of Jesus our, our Lord. Grace and peace be, multi be multiplied through the knowledge, through the knowing. Knowledge is knowing. Amen. So basically what this is saying here, if I can explain a little bit. Remember, where, where, where the scripture speaks, we are boldly to speak. But where the scripture does not speak, we do not speak. Amen. So we speak when God speaks, then we are boldly to speak. But when God does not speak, we do not speak. So listen to this. P Grace and peace be multiplied. First of all, we need to explain what is grace, and, and secondly, you know peace. Everyone knows peace. Uh, grace is something that God will do, and after doing it, he will give it to you. Basically, God will do something and finish it up. Uh, he, he will finish it. When he has finished it, he will give it to you. When you do it, it will be as if you are starting that thing. It will, it will be as if I'm the one who's doing this. But then God has done it a long time and is finishing it. Amen. Uh, how, how can I liken it or how can I, 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 I put an example on this? Let me just say, uh, you know in the Bible, you know in the Bible, you know when, 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 when David was about to face Goliath, you know, uh, I mean like he had the knowledge about God. He knew his God. 
what what made him to come in front what made him to come to Goliath what made him to to to, to say to 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 Saul I, I don't need your armor I don't need you to give me my you, you, to give me your armor what what is it that made him to to be so bold is 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 knowing is knowledge knowledge about what knowledge about God when you know your God you shall do exploits that's what the bible says in Daniel 11:32 those who know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits Amen. So, a, a grace was working there with David. David knew that Goliath was defeated long ago. Even with us, when the devil comes and, 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 and he is against us, he fights with us and all those things, we do not fight against the devil because we know that he's, he has defeated. He was defeated by the Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years, 2,000 something years ago on that cross of Calvary. So that is why we do not fight against him. Instead, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command. And when we command, things will be. Amen. So then, grace is basically what God has done. Then it, it gives it to us. Then it's like we are doing the, the very same thing. But then we see the results. Because you know the results must, must come. Because God has done it and has defeated for us. Amen. The same thing with the children of Israel. When they were taken out of, they were taken out of Egypt. It, 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 was, it was if... God is, 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 is going to fail in their eyes. They were saying, oh, God is going to fail. There, were, there was a time when they said to Moses, you know, where is this God of yours? Look at this, this, these Egyptians. You know, it was as if God is going to fail. But because God has done this thing, God is the one who makes Pharaoh's heart to be hard. Because he wanted to demonstrate himself uh, unto the Egyptians. He wanted to demonstrate his power. So, grace was there working with them. Grace is, 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 is the knowing of knowing that no matter what Pharaoh will do, but God has defeated for us. We, we, we are victorious. That is why the Bible says uh, uh, we are more than conquerors. Amen. That, is, that, is, that is, the, is, the, is the speaking of grace in our mouths. We are more than conquerors. Whatever may, may come, we are more than conquerors. Amen. So it's basically, this is how I can explain grace. Grace is like someone comes to fight you. And when the person comes to fight you, God, before that fight, God has defeated the person. When the person comes, you know the person is going to fall because I mean like God has defeated for you. You are just there to demonstrate the power of God, that God has defeated this for me, that God has won this war for me. Amen. So the Bible says, grace and peace. You know when you speak about peace, the Bible, there's, there's something that the Bible mentions about peace. It says when we pray, the peace of God shall take over our hearts or the peace of God shall come into our hearts meaning when we pray God answers by peace when we pray we will have peace in our hearts because that peace must guard us amen so then the Bible says grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of, of Jesus our Lord so by knowing God by knowing Jesus by knowing God by giving yourself time to, to know God and by giving yourself time to, to, to study the word of God in or be, you have time with God in prayer or in during fasting you study the word you pray by knowing God these things are multiplied it mean it means now it will be fulfilled what is spoken by the scripture we are more than conquerors it will be fulfilled how does it be how does the fulfillment come when we know our God when you read Daniel 11 32 it says those who know their God shall do exploit and they shall be strong. Those who know their God. It means now, when we look at the Old Testament, we see those guys who have done uh, 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 mighty miracles, where God was doing mighty miracles with them. We know now that those miracles happened because of knowing, because of them knowing their God. You know, uh, 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 brothers and sisters, there are many things you can know. You can know many things in this world. You can know many things. By knowing those things, they do not guarantee you that you will win. But by knowing God, there is a guarantee by knowing God and knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. The guarantee is that you will do exploits or you will do mighty works or mighty deeds. Not by knowing your church, not by knowing your pastor. No, 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 no. By knowing your God. So now we understand now. I've come to this understanding that 
That is why Shetrat, Meshach, and Abednego were so bold. That is why those people were so bold, or those brothers in the Lord were so bold, because they knew their God. They even said to the, to the, to the king, King Nebuchadnezzar, they said to the Nebuchadnezzar, even you can take us and put us through this fire, we will not bow down. It's true knowing. When you know you will not bow down to anything, you will not bow down to any situations, you will not bow down to, to, to things that will come and challenge your faith, you will not bow down. You will not bow down to the devil because you know. So by knowing, when you know God, there's grace there. There's a multiplication of grace there. There's a multiplication of peace there. Any situation that will come your way, you'll just know that this one God has taken care of. This one God has defeated. This one God has provided. The same thing when, when, when you know God, when, when, when they've, they've taught you that God is a provider and you've came to believe it, you've came to act on it. When, when, when you speak on that side of God where you say God will provide for me, you will just smile. Why? Because you know. When, when you know, you know. You, 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 you tell people, you, you'll see my God. Why, why do you have confidence on that side? Why do you have peace on that side? Why do you have, do you have, do you have grace on that side? Because of the knowing. That is why now, brothers and sisters, we must not know God by pieces. We must know God in his fullness. We must come to the fullness of realization, to the fullness of knowing. When, when we know the fullness of God, we, 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 will, we will have confidence in God. Amen. Listen to what this, preacher, this scripture says. According to his, as his divine power, oh, okay, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Listen to verse 3. According as his divine power, had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. According to his divine power, he has given us all things. All things are given to us. Amen. All things are given to us. The knowledge of no, but, but the knowledge or the knowing of God will make you to know that all things are given to you. Because, because Jesus Christ has bought us with a price. I don't know if you, if you do understand. Uh, about 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 Jesus Christ buying us. Who has bought us from? Or what he has bought us from? Amen. He has paid the price to God the Father. Meaning Jesus Christ has purchased us from God the Father. So that when God the Father looked at the perfect man, Jesus Christ, it, it, it will be as if he's seen us. That is why now when we pray to God, he is able to answer us. Why? Because we are perfect in Christ. That is why the Bible says, grow unto that perfect man, Jesus Christ. So now we are perfect in him. Jesus has purchased us from the Father. It's not that the Father has, he, he does not love us. It was his will for this to happen. It was in his knowledge before the time came that this must happen. Amen. So when you know God, you know that the Father loves you. You will know that he has given you all things. According to his divine power, he had given unto us all things that pertain. Listen to this. Listen to this. That pertain unto life. Things that pertain unto life. And unto godliness. When he, when he speaks about godliness, he's speaking about, he's speaking about power. He's speaking about miracles, signs, wonders. He's speaking about the nature of God. He, he has given us. He has given to us. When, 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 when we know God, we we'll know things that are given to us. So sometimes you will not pray for things that are already given to you. You will not ask God for things that are already given. Because God wants us to know what is it that is given to us. He wants us to know. Amen. There are things that are already given to us. He wants us to know what are those things that are already given. Because we, we, we must know, brothers and sisters, so now, how do we know? By knowing God, the knowing of God in our Lord Jesus Christ, the knowing of God in our Lord Jesus Christ, it will give us that sense of knowing that all things that pertain to life, what is it that you need that pertains to life? It has been given. And that pertains unto godliness, meaning the God nature, the God nature is given to us. Amen. Listen to this. All things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge, 
through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, through the knowledge, through knowing him, we will know that all the things that pertain to life and godliness, they are given to us. Amen. What a wonderful God. When you read the scriptures, you just be amazed. You just, you just wonder. You just, you just see his love for us. Because everything that we need to know is in God. When we know God, when we know God, we know everything. When we know the Lord Jesus Christ, we know everything. Because the Bible says, the fullness of God dwelled in him. Who? Jesus Christ. The fullness of God, the fullness of the sonship, of how God wants to add to his children. That fullness is in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he called himself the Son of Man. That's why he called himself the Son of God. He says, I'm seeing the Father doing this, and I'm doing what he's doing. Because I've seen what he's doing, then I'm able to do it, because I have the, the godly nature in me. Masoba Akate. Amen. Listen, listen to this, listen to this. According to his divine power, had given unto us all things that pertain to life, that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. If, if you look in the Old Testament, brothers and sisters, or not the Old Testament, if you look at the apostles, you know there, 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 there is where you find John writing. He says, that, that which was in the beginning. Let us go to the book of John. Let's go to the book of John. I want to show you something there. I want to show you something there. Uh, uh, let's go to, 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 to first John. To first John. Let's go to first John. I want to show you something there. Look at how this man writes. Look at how this, 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 this apostle of God writes. Look at this. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which uh, we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life, of what we've, we've seen. You know, the, 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 the guy here is so convinced. Why? Because now he, he has seen this. He, he has studied this. He has studied this man, Jesus Christ, walking here, the word of God. They were touching the word. They were able to, 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 to have a dialogue with the word, speaking to the word. He said, For the life was manifested, and we have seen it. And, and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. So now I'm able to understand why the apostles were walking in such grace, were walking in such power, in such wonders. I'm able now to understand even with the Apostle Paul. If, I mean, Apostle Paul never walked with the Lord Jesus Christ when he was in the flesh, when he was on this earth. He never walked with him. But then the Apostle Paul was born again and now, after seeing that vision. When he was on his way to Damascus, he, he, he saw the vision. Then, then, then he was born again there when the Lord was, 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 was talking to him. The, the man gave himself time to, to, to read the scriptures. The man understood the Old Testament. The man wrote, uh, uh, I mean, the New Testament. Half of the New Testament, he, he wrote it. The, the reason is being, he gave himself time to know God. When you give yourself time to know God, exploits a day. We must give ourselves time to know God. Amen. Because listen to what the Bible says. He has called us to glory and virtue. He has called us to glory and power. When we know what is it that we are called to unto, how do we know this? It's by knowing God. Know your God. Moses was able to go to Pharaoh and, and to say to him, you know what? You must, you, you must let my people go. That is what God says. With that boldness, it comes from knowing God. Because on that burning bush, he gave himself time to go on that burning bush. There were words that were exchanged there. God made himself known to Moses. He made him mazoba hakate. Amen. When God comes to you and made himself known unto you, it is when exploits will happen. That is why many believers these days, they, 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 they don't do exploits. They don't move with God. They don't move with power because they don't know their God. When you know your God, ah, Masiakate. when you know Jesus, when you know who Jesus is, you, 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 you don't care what other people say. You don't, you don't care what they say, the confusion they teach, they preach. 
When you know your God, you know what you are called unto. Because knowing God is knowing what you are called unto. Knowing God is knowing the power, is knowing the manifestation, is knowing the creator, is knowing all in all. The Bible says all things were created by him and for him. Knowing Jesus Christ is knowing all things. Ah, man, siko manda sipa katai. Amen. So to knowing God, we grow, we grow in grace, we grow in peace, we grow because when you know God, I mean like Elijah, you know, brothers and sisters, this, 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 this is so amazing. This is so amazing. I've seen this scripture where Elijah was saying to these prophets of Baal, you know, if, if Baal be God, then let him be God. If, if, if God be God, then let him be God. Then this is the test that he was putting, he, he, he was putting uh, uh, his God in. He said, he actually he was putting the prophets of Baal, not his God, because he knew his God. He knew his God. That is why he was able to do exploits. They, 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 they did this sacrifice. And after sacrificing the prophets of Baal, called unto Baal. They, they, they cut themselves. They did all these things. They did all the, And Elijah was mocking them. But then now when, the, when Elijah's time came, he said, take this sacrifice, put it under water. They, put the, they, 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 they loaded the, the, this sacrifice with water. It was under water. Then, then Elijah, Mazoba Kayate, he just called once, once, and fire came down from heaven. What is it that God is showing us there? It's not to prove God. No, 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 no. It is showing us that the man knew his God. That is why he was so bold. Even with, with the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, they, they knew their God. That is why before the king, they said the king of Kepneza, we do not mind, we do not care what you will do to us. No, 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 no. Because we know whom do you worship. They did not care, they did not mind. It is not that they did not care about their lives. No, 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 no. When you know your God, you know people will be looking at you and saying, it is as if he does not care about his life. Knowing God is caring about your life. Knowing Jesus Christ is caring about your life. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, my focus is in this. When you know your God, you will do exploits. When you know him, you will grow in peace. You will grow in grace. Amen. Ah. Listen to verse 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world, through lust. By these promises, by these promises, one of the greatest, uh, greatest promises that we must know is knowing that God is for us, when you know that God is for you and not against you. He says when God is for us, who can stand against us when he's for us? Amen. Brothers and sisters, let me, let me share this with you. Ah, man, siate. You know when you know that all the bad things that are happening on this, on this earth, they are happening just because the devil is, uh, has fallen down on this earth and is on this earth. You know, when we speak about earth, we speak about this hard ground that we walk on. That is the earth. Because the Bible says, when God was separating the waters from the waters, and he separated and the hard ground was there, God called that hard ground earth. Amen. When the, when, the devil, when the devil came, he came to this earth. He came to cause confusion, to cause death, to steal, to destroy, to do all those things. When you know that, that, that all these things that are happening, that are confusing to us, all these things that are causing pain to us, all these things that are challenging us are from the devil. When you know that, that the, the, then, 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 then you come into this knowing of knowing that Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, he has defeated the devil a long time ago. He, he, the devil is defeated. But, but being defeated, it does not mean that the enemy will not try some things. He will try some things because he knows exactly. He knows that there are those who don't know that he is defeated. So he will try and he will win in those who don't have the knowledge. And being defeated, defeated by who and, and how? It, it defeated by the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross when the Lord Jesus Christ was giving himself 
You know, the Bible says he became a sinner, meaning all diseases and sicknesses were, were, were in him when he was on that cross. That is why he said now, it is finished. It, it, is, it is finished. It is done. When he said finish, uh, uh, all, all the power of the enemy was defeated. Then Jesus went to hell. When he went to hell, he went to pay the price for me anew. And, and, and he rose again. When he rose, he took the keys. The keys, meaning the authority. He took the authority from the enemy. The authority of, 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 of hell. He took it. And the authority of commanding things to be. He took it. Then he gave us this authority. You know, when you know that, you know that whatever that may come your way, whatever bad thing that may come your way, you know it's defeated. Why? Because, because you are in Christ. In Christ, you know that the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ has defeated the enemy. And, and being defeated, yes, he may still try some things. He may still send some things, his agents. But you know that knowing makes you to be in peace. That knowledge brings peace. That knowledge brings grace. Meaning what? Walking on top of scorpions. Walking on top of snakes, drinking deadly poison, and you will not die. That that knowing, you know. Now I understand when 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 the apostle Paul, when the apostle Paul, uh, on on that island that is called Malta, he was picking up woods. Then a viper when 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 he threw the the woods on the fire, a viper came and bit him. And, and, and the men just shook the viper as if it was nothing. And the people in that island were looking at Paul. They were, they were wondering, what is it that is happening? Because firstly, they say he's going to die. Now, now he's going to fall. But all of a sudden, they changed their mind. They said, he's a God. What is it that was happening to Paul? I came to understand that... Uh, uh, Paul had the knowledge about God. He had knowledge about God and about the Lord Jesus Christ. Because, because when, when Paul was writing, he said, It is no longer I who live, but it is Christ Jesus who lives in me. It is no longer I who lives. And there's, and there's a place where he wrote, In him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. Brothers and sisters, We'll finish this very soon. I'll continue with it. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen.